Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the super duper art segment of Super Duper Danny, and today we're gonna be taking a look at my recent Rayquaza painting. Sit back and relax, it's gonna be legendary. Those of you who've been following along with the channel for a while may know that I absolutely love art. And while I don't really share my art that often, when I do, I kind of like to, you know, make a whole video out of it. So as you can see, I sketched this out ahead of time. This was actually based off of one of my favorite Rayquaza Pokemon card artworks. It is the Celestial Storm Full Art Rayquaza. This was also seen as a reprint in Hidden Fates as the Shiny Rayquaza. So this artwork has a special place in my heart as we're all shiny hunting for those legendary Pokemon. But for this painting, I wanted to go with a bit of an outer worldly theme, so we are uh, we are going to outer space. I know Rayquaza usually takes to the skies, but he didn't have his astronaut suit, but I think he'll be okay amongst the stars. So completely blacked out background. We will be adding some texture and stars and whatever else to that later, but for now I just wanted to lay out a bit of black. Also, I'm using acrylic paints. I don't know if you guys are super duper into painting. I This is like a relatively new medium for me. I've done a lot more drawing than I have anything else. So I, uh, I'm getting used to mixing the paints together. I'm getting used to like blending certain things. So I am by no means an expert, but I definitely enjoy trying new things. So yeah, a bit of a greenish yellow base. And as you can see, as I go along, I'll kind of be like outlining certain parts of the drawing and then going over them again with even more paint after I like paint over the certain sections. this painting in total probably took maybe three or so hours maybe a little bit more uh, because I didn't really time out how long it took me to sketch that out on there I think one of the hardest things about drawing certain Pokemon like this one is getting the proportions right on this dragon's face its ears its eyes its hands the arm on this Pokemon is insane but I love the menacing look and I think one of my favorite parts of doing these kind of dragon-esque drawings is uh, is when we get to paint in the eyeball and it looks super intense and intimidating. So we'll get to that later. But over the course of this, I think I did learn a little bit more about how to blend the paints and how to mix water in with these acrylic paints to get the desired look that I want. But this was a painting that I did for one of my friends. This was actually a, a Christmas gift for one of my friends whose favorite Pokemon is Rayquaza, so I really, really hope he likes it. A little bit more info on Rayquaza here for our super duper drawing Pokedex entry. Rayquaza is known as the Sky High Pokemon, and I think we did it justice. We took it all the way to outer space. The national dex number for this Pokemon is number 384. And something that surprised me, Rayquaza is a whopping 23 feet tall. I honestly can't even fathom how tall that is for a Pokemon, but it also weighs 400 155 pounds. That is 206 kilograms. That's a big boy. And this is, of course, one of the legendary Pokemon from Gen 3. This was in the Emerald game, Ruby Sapphire Emerald-esque games, the Hoenn games, if you will. But this Pokemon is very intense, very intimidating. I can see why it is a fan favorite. So I think I did it justice. What do you guys think? Let me know what you think of our finished drawing down in the comment section below. And then once again, let me know if you wanna see more drawing videos like this. I was very happy with how it turned out. And I think it really has like a certain vibe to it. It's, I would honestly say it's less intimidating than Rayquaza could be, but he kind of gives off, you know, like a cool guy vibe. Like you might go and grab a coffee with him at the local coffee shop. I don't know. 